we want to create a REST API for our customers to send us data. The REST API would then send data to a messaging broker like RabbitMQ. A consumer service will then pick up the message from RabbitMQ and process it downstream. Using a messaging broker like RabbitMQ decouples the publisher from the consumer service, making the services asynchronous. Our clients do not have to wait for the downstream systems to complete processing, and so they submit their data and quickly go on their own way. Even if our downstream system or service is suffering performance problems or is down, our data or messages are not lost and stay in RabbitMQ until they are retrieved by the downstream service. Spring Cloud Stream along with Spring Boot makes it very easy for us to create these services. With just a few annotations, it can wire itself to RabbitMQ and do all the heavy lifting for us. In this video, we will create a publisher service which is a REST API exposed to our clients. The client will submit their JSON data to this API. Our REST API would then use Spring Cloud Stream and send it to RabbitMQ. If you do not have RabbitMQ on your machine, you can get it running by using Docker images or you can install it. Please watch my video Installing RabbitMQ on Linux if you want to know how to install RabbitMQ on your machine. In my next video, Spring Boot and Spring Cloud Stream, consuming messages from RabbitMQ, we will build the consumer service which will take the messages from RabbitMQ and process them. Alright, here I have Spring Tool Suite running on my machine which is a flavor of Eclipse. Let's create a new project by choosing File, New, Spring Starter Project. Give it a name Publisher Service. Click Next. Let's choose from Cloud Messaging, Cloud Stream, search for Rabbit, choose from Integration, RabbitMQ, and since we will be exposing a REST API, let's also choose Web. Click Finish. Now let's open the pom.xml file. In the dependencies, we also need to include the AMQP client, mentioning the version here. We can pass string messages to RabbitMQ from the publisher service, but more realistically, you would be passing an object. Let's say we have an e-commerce app and we want to pass the transaction. Now let's go to the package, right click, choose new and then class. Give it the name transaction. Let's include fields int order ID, int item ID, int order quantity and a string region. Let's right click, choose source and then generate getters and setters. Select all and then generate. Next let's right click, choose source and then generate constructor using fields. Click generate. Now let us create our publisher class by right clicking and choosing new class and call it message publisher. Click finish. Let us annotate it as a REST controller. Let's add the annotation enable binding which is the core of the stream cloud application which triggers the spring integration with RabbitMQ messaging broker, creating exchange etc. It tells the spring cloud stream framework to find the source's output channel with the underlying middleware which is RabbitMQ in our case. Let's import these. Let's get the right import for the source class which is from stream messaging. Now let's auto wire the source. Create a post mapping with slash transaction. Tie this to the method which returns a string. Call it send message which takes in the request body which is of type string. Let's call it payload. Typically this can be JSON or XML in the payload. Let's go to the pom.xml file and put the dependency for Jackson Data Format XML which can help us map the incoming JSON or XML payload to our object. Let's right click on our project, go to Maven and choose Update Project. Now in our controller, let's create an object mapper. Let us create a transaction variable and using object.readValue map our payload to the transaction class. Now let's send a message to RabbitMQ using our sources output channel using message builder with payload, put our transaction in the payload, 
We can also send custom headers in the message with set header. Let us specify a key my header and a value my header value. We can use this header in our consumer service to perform alternate actions based on its value. Also, note that the conversion of the string payload to the transaction class could have also been done in the consumer service. Let's call build. Let's return success to our calling client. Let's surround with try catch the exception. Initialize our transaction variable. Now let's go to source main resources and then application.properties file. Let's specify our server port as 8081. Put the RabbitMQ broker URL as TCP 127.0.0.1 or localhost at port 5672. Enter the RabbitMQ username and password using spring.cloud.stream.bindings dot output dot destination as my destination. So this will be the exchange name created for us in RabbitMQ. Spring Boot and Spring Cloud will see these settings and automatically configure and wire us to RabbitMQ. Let's turn the logging level to debug. Let's start our app by right clicking and choosing run as Spring Boot app. Now let's go to RabbitMQ dashboard and we already see our exchange created over here with the name my destination. There is no queue yet. Now to make post calls, I will use a Mozilla add-on called rested client. You can use postman or any other tool you like. Let's add it to Firefox. I forgot to add a no arg constructor to our transaction class. So let me do that. Also, let me add a system.out to our controller method to make sure it is called. Let's relaunch our app. Now, let's open our rested client extension. Change the method to post URL as http localhost 8081 slash transaction at the header content type as application slash json. Let me paste the json here where we have the fields of the transaction object and their values. Let's click send request. Response code 200 indicates success. Back in our project, we see that our method was called based on the output in the console. Let's make a few more calls. Go to our RabbitMQ dashboard, click my destination, and here we see our messages coming through. In the next video, we will have a consumer service which will pick messages from here and process them. In this video, we saw how to create a publisher service which exposes a REST API to our clients, which calls it and posts the message to our RabbitMQ exchange. Thanks for watching.